Hi everybody. My name is Julia Coward and I work with the Children's Ministry and Mother's Day Out program at First United Methodist Church in Taylor. And I have a devotion for you all today. This is actually an old one. It is from March 12th, 2020, but I like it. So this is what we're going to be talking about. The title is The Door is Open and the Prayer Focus is for University Students. As I write this, I am faced with an obstacle. I have been accepted for study at a Christian university in America, and I was given an academic scholarship. I am confident God opened this door. But now that I am trying to enroll, the people who I thought would help me and sign the financial guarantee form are ignoring me. While this obstacle is discouraging, I trust in God. Even though people seem to be against me, I trust that God has opened this door to me and no one can shut it. In today's scripture reading, five kings gathered their forces to attack a city that had made peace with the Israelites. Though the obstacle seemed great, the Lord told Joshua, Do not fear them, for I have handed them over to you. Not one of them shall stand before you. The Lord fought for Israel and still fights for us today. When obstacles come our way, we can trust that God, who has begun a good work in us, will bring it to completion. God is faithful and God's mercy endures forever. And the thought for the day is, God, who has begun a good work in me, will bring it to completion. The Bible verse is from Revelation chapter 3, verse 8. I know your works. Look, I have set before you an open door which no one is able to shut. And this devotion was submitted by Terapiwa Musa from Mashonaland East, Zimbabwe. So, if you will join me in prayer at home. Dear Lord, thank you for granting us faith that can move mountains. Guide us as we take steps of faith toward the places where you call us. Amen. Now, I like this scripture and this whole message here about how when God opens a door specifically for you, no one else can shut it. It is up to you to walk through that door and see what God has planned for you along the path that resides beyond the door. No one else is allowed to go through it because we all have our own doors to go through. They should be worried about, by they, I mean whoever else is trying to walk through your door, they have their own plan, their own path that God has made for them, and they need to walk through their own door and not try to shut your door. And what that all is a big metaphor for, that just means march to the beat of your own drum. Don't let anyone get in the way of what you have planned for yourself and what God has planned for you. It is nobody else's business. That's at least what I take from it. You may all have a different point of view for that, which I encourage you to share in the comments below. Now I can relate to the young person who sent in this devotional because the focus is university students and as you probably know because I talked about in my last devotion I do attend university at Austin Community College in Round Rock. It is frustrating when people that are supposed to be on your side are actually they seem like they're against you even though they're probably not everyone has a good heart but it sure does seem that way when you are trying to get something done and you know this is the path that you are supposed to walk and it seems like there are obstacles in every corner. I try my hardest to ignore those obstacles and push through and keep pushing through my door, but it does get hard. It can be very discouraging when people seem like your goals are not as urgent to them as they feel to yourself. So I really hope you guys take in this devotional and tell yourself that no one can walk through your door. You are the only one who can be trusted to open it because God has given you the key. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.